No, 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 that's really interesting. But I suppose what that implies is that we are left with reason alone, and, you know, and actually having to sort through the concepts. I mean, because we can use reason to, to say, look, we know it's not made of bicycles, right? So there is this kind of gradation of sensibility, if you like, of the, of the ideas. And so my question is, I, I suppose it's epistemology. Can reason unveil truths about the nature of reality? Oh, I hope so, <laughs> because that's what we're in the business of, isn't it? But yeah, you know, but, but how does it do that? I, I think I think we need both. And I mean, I think any scientific question needs both to some extent. I mean, mm. mathematics is pure reason. Mm. Um, but in any with any science, there's always an infinite number of theories that could account for the data and How do we slim them down with things like simplicity, elegance? And especially when you get into theoretical physics, there's judgment calls about, you know, this is most obvious in quantum mechanics where there's, everyone agrees on the equations, but there's half a dozen different theories of why, what's going on in reality to make those equations work. You know, or speculations about well, the early the universe. I find physics so bewildering these days. It's just, It's just crazy. There's too much to know. I, I just can't, you know. <laughs> yeah, it's very yeah. esoteric theories of reality. Yeah. And, and yeah. there's lots of scope for judgment call. There's lots of disagreements or, you know, I mean, think about ancient history, you know, an analogy to ancient history. You don't, like if you think we, all historians think C's across the Rubicon. No one said, well, what's the experiment that settles that? We're sort of, <laughs> it's not, We can't, it's it's not that easy, <laughs> but we, we we have to we can make a rational case of inference to the best explanation. So I, th yeah. I think it's always going to be. I think that's how you should think about these issues in consciousness. It's it's inference to the best explanation. It's not a free for all, but we've just got to get used to. We can't just say here's the experiment. There's there's the answer. You know something in between but yeah human beings can do this we need to rediscover the importance of philosophy we don't mm -hmm. i'm not about telling physicists how to do their job or neuroscientists how to do their job but when it comes to quantum mechanics when it comes to consciousness you need the philosophers there you need both working together yeah and it's a beautiful thing isn't it when they do and it, and it comes together